Ooh, okay. Sisters, time out. There are pros and cons to both of you, okay? Pros, young, beautiful. Pros, also beautiful for your age. Rich, doctor, access to pills. Cons, no access to pills. Cons, you're really stingy with the pills. Right. Pros, gives me the spare key to the apartment. Do you have a key to my apartment? Cons, ask too many personal questions. Let me teach you how to be single. Robin, my character, is kind of the party animal. She's like the beast of the group. She loves being single. She's very independent. She's not codependent in any way. Who gives a f right? She like, will have one night stands and stuff and enjoy it for the fun that it is. You were great last night. Was I? <laughs> Up top. She kind of is a functioning alcoholic as well, Woo! which is her character flaw. I didn't sleep with anybody. No, I don't think so. But that's also really fun to play that she forgets things at times. I can do this in 20. Wait, do what? Let's go. Wait, do what? Alice has always depended on someone to do things for her. Maybe I just don't really know how to be single. You have LTRP. Oh my god, I do? Yeah. Long-term relationship pussy. You've ruined so many things for me. And Robin sort of teaches her how to be more alive. We drink for free because we have boots. It's in the Bible. And more open to things. You gotta go around the board. Pass go, collect 200 dicks. And not so afraid. I would like to see your tongue in that bartender's face. And I've heard he's really good in bed. From myself, because I might have slept with him. Tom's used to get in his way. He pretty much gets any girl he wants. You want a hand with that? He likes to love him and leave him. He's kind of got it down to a system. A revolving door of Poonani. So you want to know how to stay single? You came to the right place. He's like the worst kind of good guy. Allison kind of brings him out of that. He realizes he just can't have his way all the time. You want a hand job? No. Tom's a total asshole, so it's a big step. Shit. I think I like her. Lucy's an interesting character because she's a very pragmatic character. I'm just trying to scare away guys who aren't serious about being in a relationship. Very smart, but she doesn't like being single. Makeup and blowouts. You think this is all real? You think that's Ugh. all real? She's kind of obsessive about it. Did you say that you're seeing other people? Yeah. I mean, isn't that the whole point of online dating? No. It's to find your soulmate! She's a little off base about it, I think. <laughs> Wait, like, George is an eighth Irish. Do you think he'll like it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's George? Luce! Hey! George he works at a bookstore. He's like a kind of nerdy sweetheart of a guy. And so I think for us to find each other randomly and fall in love is a very kind of cute upending of her trying to do it by the numbers. You're the fancy married guy with a kid in the buildings. <laughs> uh, I'm not married. Um, I do have a daughter. Oh. David is probably the richest guy I've ever played. I like that. <laughs> I have the building right next door. You have the building? I don't have the building. I kind of own it. Oh. There's no way to make that sound right. Honestly, nobody really knows what the f they're doing. This is it. This is the dick sand. I'm falling into your dick sand right now. What? Piers? Holy sh! that's a candle. To me, it's about people getting their own bullshit out of the way in order to be there for another person. Try some like hamburgers. It tastes like hamburgers. <laughs> I'm not sure what we want, and we're just kind of like, oh, I'll go this direction, maybe this will work. Oh my god! This may be a mistake. It's such, just such a bad idea. Oh, I love him. Oh, I've broken up with him. Oh, I'm back with him. Like, it's not that. I'm totally in love with you, too. Just joking. <laughs> it's about being okay with yourself and where you are in your life and, you know, brave. <laughs>
Ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd never been tag teamed before, and then I started working on this movie with Christian and Dana. It was a great collaboration. The script changed as we were shooting. If the actors had an idea, you know, we took it on board. And if Dana had an idea, we took it on board. And, you know, I really believe the best idea wins. Christian Ditter and Dana Fox are a great combination, I think. Christian has a very particular style and he approaches it kind of dramatically. Christian shot it so beautifully and makes everything feel so real and so grounded. Oh my God, stop <gasps> having a moment. Isn't there a place to be drinking here, Christian? Christian is the first German director that I've ever worked with. Hey, let's do it right away. I love how he talks, he's like, Rebel, see, you know, in the movie, we have the camera on you, and then the camera will turn, and then you will be there. Mimosa, hold the orange juice, hold the glass. I'm gonna need more of these. Yeah. Our process was, okay, let's shoot the scene as is first, and then let's see if we can elevate it. Here. Check this out. What do all these things have in common? Go. I don't know, things you find at a sporting event. What do all these things have in common? Ketchup, pickles, hot sauce. Are you pregnant? No, they can't be used to make breakfast. Dana was on set with me, which was amazing because she is so smart and so fast with comedy and ideas that when we were shooting the scene, she was in the back looking at the monitor and rewriting the scene we were just shooting right now. Nailed it. And so I did a take, I said cut, you know, and then I hit tip, 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 tip. And then Dana was behind me, she said, I had an amazing idea, you know, and it was, most of the time was really amazing ideas. Nailed it. You're three and a half hours late. Yay! Lunchtime! Be careful. The first time I partied with Robin, I woke up with this. <gasps> oh my god, that's Robin. Cut. I feel like we could do better than that. Do you have any other ones? It's eight or more. Everyone knows that. <laughs> is it seven or is it eight? It's eight or more. Everyone knows that. Who told you that? The chef of the... From... The... Maybe save the slider guy. <laughs> Who told you that? That's what the, the slider guy told me. <laughs> I started laughing. I was very impressed by her. She just comes up with the most outrageous and super funny stuff. It's okay. Please just blink once so that I know you're in there. <laughs> Please blink so I know you're in there. For me, the people that I like working with the most are people who can improv really well. What should I do one that's just like dumb slow or something? Yeah, hey, Bridget. Action! Hey, Bridget. Did your um, husband give you that pearl necklace? Oh, yes, he did. You're such a slut. Hey, Bridget. Mm -hmm. Did your husband give you that pearl necklace? Yeah, for my birthday. He really gave it to you, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, it was so great. That's a nice pearl necklace. Oh, thank you. Did your husband give you that? It was my grandma. Your grandma? Yeah. Right. Kinky family. They're all very, very funny. And so sometimes you feel like the image is starting to shake. And this is because of the cameraman, you know, was holding the camera and he was starting to giggle. It's so sad being single at Christmas. All that eggnog and strange dick. <laughs> yeah. So we've been doing takes that are straight with the script. Then we do takes that are totally improvised. Then we'll do takes that are like alt jokes that Dana and, and people have written. Lucy, now! And then every once in a while you find through improvising like something really weird and funny that really just tickles everybody. It's like a chamber of ghosts just left your body. <sighs> yeah. Seriously, you look like the scream mask when you do that. You look like Mufasa, that's awesome. <sighs> like you just got held up on the rock. Maybe Han Solo frozen in carbonite. Jesus, you look like Han Solo frozen in carbonite. I don't know if you get that reference, but it's a dead ringer. It was cool, it was like having two parents, which I wouldn't know about. I'm sorry, uh, just kidding, they're still married. Phil, Cheryl, stay strong.
Christian would be like, here's the shop, we're gonna do this, you're gonna look cool. And I'm like, oh, sick. And then Dana would be like, hey, we've got all these alt lines, you can say if you don't like this one, you're gonna be funny. And I'm like, I'm gonna look cool and be funny. Guys, thank you. These are the women? Mm. Mm. Oh, actually, I think you got a couple of men in there. We bring the comedy and hopefully he's understanding our comedy. Mm. On the weirdness meter, it's like between Shia LaBeouf and aerosol cheese. <laughs> I think sometimes he looks at us and like, these girls, I didn't, I didn't tell them to do that. Okay, ready? What? Christmas yeah, with Robin, Robin and Alice. Alice. They just did that. And look, it's funny. I need some memories to take back to the North Pole. Woo! All right. Cuts are very good. <laughs>